In this video, we look at the free option for Azure Bastion. Hello everyone, I'm Travis and this is Reldos. In my last video, we reviewed how to deploy and connect to Azure Bastion for Windows and Linux. That video used the standard tier for the example. Coming up, we'll review the developer tier that's free to use. Before that, please like, subscribe, and share with a friend. That helps others find this channel and is greatly appreciated. Check out my courses on hybrid identities with Windows AD and Enter ID, Azure Virtual Desktop, Windows 365 and Intune Management, and my latest course, A Beginner's Guide to the AZ900, available at unibee.com. The links are below. And thank you, channel members. Your support is appreciated. Back to it, Azure Bastion allows us to connect to a Windows or Linux VM through a web-based or native client without giving the VM a public IP address and opening RDP port 3389 or SSH port 22 to the internet. It's integrated into Enter ID and supports zero trust authentication. But it requires a dedicated subnet and elevated permissions to deploy. And there's a fee for the basic standard and premium tier. The deployment requirements could make it difficult for a developer or others without the knowledge or rights to deploy it. And the cost could be prohibitive in smaller organizations. The development tier helps address these issues. It's a free shared option that's available by default on most Windows and Linux VMs. It doesn't need to be deployed before it can be used. There are a lot of limitations to be aware of. First, it's a shared service that has a limited feature set. There's no support for features like custom inbound ports, native client support, shareable links, and private deployments. And it only supports RDP and SSH from the web client. Also, it's not available in every region. The good news is the number of regions supported was recently increased from six to 36 as of the time of this recording. I'll add a link to the region supported below. If you don't see the option to use the developer edition, it's likely not supported in the region. Let's jump into the portal and take a look. Here we are in the Azure portal. This is going to be a quick demo because there's nothing to deploy. We'll start in the Linux server. We have options to connect under connect or we can get there from the drop down menu in the overview page. We'll connect via Bastion. If you don't have an option like what's shown on the screen, it's likely the region doesn't support Azure Bastion developer yet. If that's the case, you'll need to deploy a dedicated tier of Azure Bastion. I have a link to that video below. Also notice it indicates that it will deploy Azure Bastion for us on the VNet. There are a few authentication methods we can use to access a Linux VM. We can connect by password or password in the key vault. We can also do the same with an SSH private key from a local certificate or use one in a key vault. We'll use a private key from a local file for this example. Provide the username from the VM and select the private certificate file. We can also specify an SSH passphrase if required. Notice at the bottom of the page, there's an option to deploy a dedicated Azure Bastion. That's for the basic standard or premium tier. We use the developer tier for this example. Let's leave open in a new browser tab selected and connect. And that brings us to the Linux shell. Let's exit. When we connect with Azure Bastion for the first time, Azure will deploy a Bastion server for you in the VNet. If we go to all services and search for Bastion, we now have a Bastion server in our subscription. Let's open that and go to configuration. It shows we have the developer tier and gives us the option to upgrade. We can upgrade to a higher tier, but we can't downgrade to a lower tier. And for the developer tier, we need a Bastion on each VNet because VNet peering is not supported. Next, let's connect to a Windows VM. At the overview page, we'll go to connect and then connect via Bastion. This time it's using Azure Bastion that was previously deployed and we don't have the option to deploy a dedicated tier. We get an option to set the keyboard language for a Windows VM. We also have the option to type in the Windows VM or use a password from the key vault. We'll select password, add the username and password, leave open in a new browser tab selected and click connect. And that logs us into the VM. Before we end, there's one important limitation to point out. We're logged into the Windows VM. Let's try to connect to the Linux VM again. We'll go to the Linux VM and connect with Azure Bastion. We'll connect the same way we did before. 
and connect. We connected to the Linux VM, but let's go back to the Windows VM we logged into first. The connection closed. Each instance of Azure Bastion Developer is limited to one concurrent connection. If you need additional connections, that requires a dedicated tier. That is how to use the free Azure Bastion Developer tier. That is how to use Azure Bastion Developer Edition. Please don't forget to like and subscribe, and thanks for watching.